Welcome, curious minds, to the wondrous world of numbers. Today, we're diving into a sequence that's as magical as it is mathematical, the Fibonacci sequence. Grab your thinking caps and let's embark on this numerical adventure. Imagine you're in a garden and you notice the spiral of a sunflower or the pattern on a pine cone. Ever wondered why nature seems to have a favorite number pattern? That's Fibonacci at work. But what exactly is the Fibonacci sequence? It all starts with 0 and 1. Add them together and you get 1. Add 1 and 1 and you get 2. Keep going and you get 3, 5, 8, 13 and the sequence continues infinitely. Each number is the sum of the two preceding ones. Simple, yet profound. But the Fibonacci sequence isn't just a mathematical curiosity. It's a blueprint of beauty found in nature. Look at the spiral of a nautilus shell or the arrangement of leaves around a stem. These patterns follow the Fibonacci sequence, creating the most efficient packing and growth. Even the seeds of this sunflower are arranged in spirals that follow the Fibonacci numbers. This arrangement allows the seeds to be packed as tightly as possible, maximizing space and sunlight exposure. Nature, it seems, is a master mathematician. And it's not just nature that loves Fibonacci. Artists and architects have been inspired by these numbers for centuries. The Parthenon in Greece, Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, and even modern-day designs all echo the harmony and balance of Fibonacci. You might have even encountered Fibonacci in pop culture. Remember the Da Vinci Code. The sequence plays a crucial role in the mystery, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the story. So, why does this sequence captivate us so? Perhaps it's the way it connects math, nature, art, and mystery. Fibonacci reminds us that mathematics isn't just numbers on a page. It's a universal language that describes the world around us. Next time you see a spiral in nature or a pattern in art, remember the Fibonacci sequence. It's a reminder of the hidden order and beauty in our universe. Thanks for joining me on this mathematical journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep finding the magic in numbers.